All right, so we're going to create the, I think, the last feature needed for our real-time game engine at this point. We already have, like, some nice window automatic updating and all that stuff with the application-level communication and all that. We already have TCP sockets, all that fantastic. I do have authentication written in. I'm just not currently using it. I'll see if we want to use it, how we want to use it. I still got to, I need a reason to, like, I need something to build before I say, before we're going to do it. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, thank you, Vimlin. My man, Vimlin. We gaming in Vim? Absolutely. Cubes, thank you for that gifted one to Lawrence. Hey, where's Lawrence? Is Lawrence actually in here? Lawrence is a good guy. Hey, Lawrence. Good guy. Lucas, thank you. Appreciate that. So, uh, simple stuff. Simple stuff right here. So, uh, what I need to have happen is that you, ha you have a rendering r window, right? And this rendering window needs to contain... You know, like effectively some amount of uh, it's 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 going to be some 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 amount of dimensions, right? So you can imagine this is uh, eighty, and uh, this right here is going to be something like uh, twenty-four, right? There we go. I'm not sure why I have extra space there. There we go. So this would be like your classic terminal, right? Eighty by twenty-four, and so we want to be able to keep track of this on the server. And then every time I update a singular key, say right here to X, it is able to take this little X and accurately render it, boom, right there onto the client. And I'd like to be able to do this by sending down a simple message, which is going to be um, something that's going to be like this, like, uh, you know, uh, version length uh, partial render. And then it's going to say like X, Y, you know, X, Y, um, char, right? Something like that. And so we're going to send down this partial render message. Well, thank you, Very Crushed. I didn't know you were going to do that. I appreciate that. Is the podcast pirate software still happening? Yeah, we're taking our time. It takes a little bit to develop anything good. You got to, you know, you got to, you can't just rush into it. You know what I mean? Okay. So that that makes sense, right? So that means, uh, you know, really it should be this. It should be row call character, and this is going to be. This is going to be zero based. The problem is, is that Vim, well, is one based sometimes for, for, for rows because Vim hates, hates me emotionally. Vim is a uh, one based row, zero based call. Why? Mo emo again, emotional damage. So there you go. So that's what we're going to be doing. So that's kind of like the last thing we need to figure out here is how to create a window. Should I have the client drive the size of the window on the server? Probably not. Should the server drive the size of the window on the client? I think that actually might be pretty cool. Can we agree to that? I mean, I think that would be pretty rad. Can we agree that might be pretty rad to have like the, the, the server say, hey, I need a window that's 80 by 24. Make it happen. And then the client will jump up and be like, hey, you need to make your, you need to zoom out or hey, here you go and make it. Isn't it, isn't it great? I think that's going to be pretty fun. So there we go. Uh, why do you hurt us so bad? Because that's what we got to do. Thank you very much. Leon. Appreciate that. Um, anyways, there you go. So there you go. Hell yeah. Catching you live for the first time using NeoVim. Thanks to you for a while and feeling the coconut oil. Good. There are zero index Lua patches, but not in all places. It's one of the requirements Right. It's one of the – unfortunately, you cannot break APIs, so there's just some APIs that are one-based. What's the ETA on the new ball? Uh, I I actually literally just have to go to the hardware store or wherever and grab, like, some piece of crap carpet, cut it down to the exact size of my platform, put that on top of it, and then I'll get a ball. Because I'm just, like, on top of particle board or OSB, and the problem is it's just causing some crap to happen. Are you just using a normal ball or a special ball chair? I know I like a normal ball. I'm a normal ball man. Anyways, thank you, Very Crushed. Hey, Very Crushed, thanks for all the biddies and then followed by that. And thank you for the Tokyo, Tokyo! Beautiful. Beautiful. You like normal balls? You bet I do, Tom Riddle. You bet your sweet ass I like normal balls. Oh my goodness, this lady's voice is just painfully good. Does it just not make you just, just love it? Okay. All right, so I need a view, okay? We need a view of you. All right, so now this is where things kind of get interesting because we kind of got to like force our, we got to 
We got a force open. So let's just start there. Let's start with a force open command via TCP. You want to do that? Now, there's a lot of edge cases here that we don't like. I don't want to handle at first. Okay, one window not uh, big enough. Right? I'm just not gonna. I'm just. I'm just not gonna think about that. Okay. Uh, two. I do want to think about uh, resizing. Right. And so I'm just gonna go like this. Um, Let's see, what else do we need? Um, three, we need a TCP command uh, in Lua and Go. Yeah, I think we can get that done pretty quickly. You guys can agree? This should be a pretty quick little thing. We already have all we already have all the girth done, right? What's the name of this music? Oh, this is Celeste. Stop this flame. All right, we're back working on the tower offense, I take it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not tower offense. So right now I'm actually building, uh, is this project a JavaScript protest? No, it's just that I want to build inside uh, a, I want to build stuff inside of Vim. And you can't just build JavaScript in Vim. It's just, I mean, you, it's just not a thing, you know? Uh, music is a distraction to productivity. Completely incorrect. Completely incorrect. Holy cow, you've just offended me. Um, all right. What should we call this thing? I'm just going to call it a window for now, right? We're going to start with a struct, right? And I'm just going to have a, uh, let's call it, uh, I'm going to call it rows and calls, okay? Uh, there we go. And go function, new window. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give it to me, Copilot. Give it to me, Copilot. I cannot believe you just changed rows. Uh, it just changed on me. Did you see that? Oh, my goodness. All right, let's go like this. Funk, um, our window. Oh, watch this, watch this, watch this. We're going to go like this. Oh, uh, window, and we're going to go um, TCP command, right? Oh, yeah. And we're going to go TCP, uh, TCP. And we're going to return. Uh, I think I need to return. Do I need to return a pointer to this thing? I never remember if I use pointers or not use pointers. Is there like a rule of thumb? Quick question for the, the Go people, like the goers. When do you choose to use a pointer versus not pointer. This is one thing I really don't know the how to make that choice. Use pointers if you don't know what to do. Why? I do pointers most of the time. Thank you, Hector. I appreciate that, Hector. Gene. Interface, always pointer. Pointer by default. Why? Is the pointer the same thing as it? Yes, pretty much. They just handle all the niceties around using pointers. Pointers, if you're going to pass this var to multiple places. Okay. Well, I mean, there's always copying. You're just copying, a, you're just copying an int versus copying a struct. Right? That's all that means. It assumes it does a copy if you, return, if, you, if you don't return. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Size of the struct, we're going to be small. Uh, it's a choice. Okay, okay. Uh, I was uh, watching through your YouTube videos and thought you were just uh, electric in your chair, but there's music on the stream. No, 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 no. White Tree, thank you for the brand new tier one. Hell yeah. All right, so I'm just going to I'm just gonna start the, the policy. I'm just going to use, I'm just going to use, I'm just, I'm just going to use pointers, okay? Uh, command. Right, uh, command, open window, right? Args, uh, args, wow, that's a weird one. I'm going to have nothing there. And um, anything else we, what else is in here? Oh, it's, it's data, it's data, uh, data, right? Data's empty. There we go. So, oh, actually, it shouldn't be that. It should be a format, uh, sprint F, and it, we should go like this. Uh, oopsies. There we go. We'll do DD. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that seems about right. There we go. So that's our open window command to be sent across the TCPZs. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Hey, thank you very much again, John. John. You forgot. I forgot Ruby is a thing. No one, no one's here is doing Ruby. Nobody here is doing Ruby. Uh, open. Yeah, we can call it open. The problem is it's just like, it's, it's really, it's really open command. Like, that's one thing, you know, like, because there's, there, I forget what it's called. What, what is it called? What's the name of the, what's the name of the command, what's the name of the type of naming for when you put the type inside the name? 
open sesame. That's actually pretty good. I forget what the name of that is. And how do you feel Hungarian? Is it Hungarian? I think you're right. I think you're right. How do you guys feel about Hungarian functions though? Right? Like open or should be open command, right? Because I want to get the open command. It's an open command, right? It's an open TCP command, but I'm just saying open without the word command. It's like, what does it mean to open? You know, I I never know what to do there. You know what I mean? Open sesame. Uh, Orban command. Hungarian functions sound neat. Yeah, I've always uh, been pretty verbose in my function naming. You don't like Ruby? I don't. I honestly don't care about Ruby. Just shut up. Open, open command. Open command makes more sense than just command. I agree with that. And it makes more sense than just open, right? What the hell does open mean? You only know what open means by this thing right here, by the return that is returning a TCP command, right? I just want to be like, give me the open command because I don't like to do this. I don't like that. I find that annoying, so I just like to do that. You know what I mean? All right, so I guess that's our first thing we're going to do is we're going to do that because now I can take that and launch that across. So that means now I need to go like this. Now I need to go to my app. And in ooh, Costco, I love you. No, I love you, you little hot dog. Uh, let's like open a window. Oh, my goodness. Uh, oh, my goodness. Ugh, who's dipping their hot dog? Thank you. Uh, Annie, I appreciate that, Annie. Appreciate the brand new four months deep tier one. I like this uh, way the best. Yeah. Uh, I like long function names and VARs uh, names as well. I do not like that. I like, uh, I like a proper small... I like the, I like the the minimal amount of information to create a variable that people understand what it means or and or function name. I do not like that, Sam. I am. Yeah, thank you, Fabian. I appreciate that. You know what I mean? Like that's definitely me. So that means on open window, if command is open window, we have data, and so I kind of need. I guess I'm gonna put it in here. You know why not? Why not? Uh, yeah, why not? Uh, let's go like this. Data, uh, not param. Data, yeah, uh, is going to be a string. Return. It's almost like, uh, it's almost, a, it's actually a Windows, it's, it's really a Windows position, right? Yeah, we're going to return a Windows position. Uh, window, uh, window position. There we go, right? Okay, copilot. I didn't want all that. I mean, I want all of what you have to offer, but I want that. Thank you very much. Holy cow, Benny boy. Benny boy, boy, Benny, thank you very much. Benny and reprives OG, thank you. The issue is that with open method is literally just a factory method and not just mutating the state of the window. It is. I know. It is just a factory state. So, I mean, I could, I could. For more clarity, you know, now that you say that, uh, what, what the hell do I have on here? Uh, let's get rid of all of these, right? Window init. Oh, oh w window init. Let's do that and then go... Um, Go window or window is what did I what did I call I called it view. Mm, I don't know how I feel about calling it view. Let's go like this. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty good, right? I feel like that's better because this is being more clear. It's not mutating anything. It's just it's just doing something. How is Helldivers 2 so dang good? I got to say, watching you and your wife play Helldivers together earlier was pretty fun. I thought it was pretty fun. You know, I, I really do hope I can convince my wife to play with me again every couple weeks. You know what I mean? I enjoy it. We're just creating packages at the moment. Yeah, we're just creating packages. Uh, wife was on stream. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sam, thank you, Samx. I appreciate that. Okay, so we got the command. We got uh, we got the other side that parses out the data. We're gonna create Windows dimensions. Uh, we're gonna create uh, row equals zero, column equals zero, uh, width equals width, height equals height. Holy cow! What the hell is happening, Lana Lux? What are you doing? You're raiding me, Lana. All right. For those that don't know, for those new from Lana Lux's stream, hey, how you doing? If you don't know, Lana Lux is is old school fantastic streamer from Twitch. We're going to give a nice shout out. Uh, Lana, thank you very much. Appreciate that delicious raid. Um, for those that do not know, Lana's fantastic. has been doing games. I have no idea. I haven't not checked in in the last couple um, in the last couple months. How's Strain going? Where, where are we at? Where are we at on the uh, where are we at on the uh, on, on Strain? 
Is it out? Is it ready? Is it playable? How is it going? It's going good, doing final character art and bug fixing. I, I can imagine game bug fixing seems like it's, it's 10 times harder than web app bug fixing. Just throwing it out there. Do you usually read tech books? Yeah. You got to be a detective. You got to be a, like a dude. It, it, so, it sounds difficult. Every time I think about that, I think of like the most stressful forms of debugging. It, game, game programming sounds like it's one of the most difficult ones. Hey, Taper, it's been a while. Lena was a streaming back in the uh, days of DOS. I remember I was there. She, practically DOS. Windows 3.1. Today I was a detective and the killer. Oh, Sag. That's always the worst. <laughs> Uh, that nothing's worse than when you ha- when you uh, w- when you realize that you just had some sort of fugue state and you were in fact the murderer. Um, anyways, so with that in mind, this is what we're doing right now. I am building a little real time. Uh, streaming type business into NeoVim. That means you have a server and go, it connects with just TCPs and we send down the most delicious unsecured TCP in the world. I'm sure at some point we can consider trying to integrate TLS if it's possible, but right now we're not doing any of that. We're just raw dog and TCP building packets, sending things forth. So right now I'm going to actually have it so that such that uh, such that we can actually open up a window from a server on to like in Vim, and then I want to be able to send it uh, differences. Right now, we can do a bunch of rendering. We can do full screen renderings via the server, and we can do it at 60 frames a second, but I want to do something a little bit nicer. I want to be able to do it. I want to be able to open up a window and then send a very tiny amount of information to update the screen. Right? Fair, I would say. This is a fair challenge. Okay? All right. 365 viewers, one for each day of a non-leap year. Yeah, I know. Couldn't even get a leap year. Pathetic. Next time, get a leap year. Um, there you go. So that's what we're doing. Pretty exciting. Uh, Twenty four hundred, dude. I was on. Uh, we were on fifty six k, baby. Back back when I was young, we went from fourteen four to fifty six k, and it was the greatest upgrade in the universe. Uh, I never had. I never had any form of modem that had the word bot in it. Okay, so this was just not a thing. It's not a thing. I know it's not your goal to sit in rust, but could Pingora be a good tool for this instead? No, it would not be. 2400 bot, yeah, 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 yeah. See, I started my internet journey at 14.4, so I don't know anything about this bot rate. Bot rate. What's your opinion about low code tools? I think they're horrifying. I think load code tools are... Um, 56k was a revelation dude 56k was nuts here's my hot take i'm gonna hot take super hard on low code tools who dis who dis af um low code tools is the promise that ai is trying to do now and low code every moment you program and you interact with low code You are asking for future maintenance that is extremely difficult. Uh, wasp, wasp Dota. Thank you. Wasp Dota. Uh, I don't know what you mean by low code is cool. It is amazing, actually. Like, I mean, what they're accomplishing is super amazing, but what you get in the end is extremely difficult. I made so much money rebuilding low code systems from scratch. It's insane. Okay, well, that's crazy. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know how you've made all this money. Every time I see anybody that's using low code, what I really see is a bunch of developers that are trying to make low code successful, and then on the other side, a bunch of people using low code in tears. Brian uh, should code up a new version of Trade Wars. We, I mean, we technically could. Is that the is that the drug wars on um on the TI eighty six or the TI eighty three? Selling low code is theft. Ah, work is calling. Hey, have a good one. All right, hold on. We got to keep going. Okay, so we have this. We have this. We have the parse data command. So really, all I need to do is in my app init, we're gonna add this thing. I don't know how I feel about this all yet, but when we get an open window, we're gonna like this self uh, with window. So this is kind of interesting because I, what do we, okay, so self dot with, there's a lot of questions that I need to, I need to ask here. I need to go like this, uh, local, um, uh, local dim equals window dot, uh, what's it called? Parse data command data. There we go. We get the window command out and we're going to go dim with dim height and put it in the center. True. Oh my goodness. We probably want this guy to have a, a center bool and six down uh, center true 
and then F that and Ooh, damn, this is kind of making it a little bit annoying, I'd say. Do we do a D for, do we do a D, by the way? Do we give them the D when it comes to this kind of stuff? Window center. You know what, right now I'm just going to ignore window center. Window center doesn't even exist, okay? Window center doesn't exist. We're just going to assume it is the thing. All right, so there we go. So we're going to say with window, this is going to create a window and display it and put our cursor into it. So long as we've done that, this should just work. So that means I should be able to come in here. I should be able to start up a connection. We're going to start the connection. We're going to start the connection. We're going to handle commands. Uh, um, we're going to say a new command, and we're going to drop this with window business. Look at that. There's no more with window. We're not creating a window, and we're going to assert on. We're not going to assert on with uh, all this crap. And then we're going to just make many requests to the server. So if the server, if I set it up so that the server responds back down with something, it will. But for now, it's not going to do anything because look at this. Okay, because look at this. Would you look at it? Would you look at it? Uh, main. Okay, I need too many things. I need too many things. Let's get rid of that one. Uh, this one has chat program. We have chat. We have this and we have this. Okay, cool. And here's the, here's the previous code. Yeah, do you like my version control, by the way? Do you like my version control? Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you want to touch it? Well, you can't. Okay there, buddy. Oh, actually, we don't want that much. All right. Which one do I want? Do I want this one? I think I want this one. Honestly, I think I want this one. I think this is the one I want. Yeah. All right, so we're going to create TCP server, which we don't need to do this way. Do I create TCP server down here? I thought I had some code that did all this like TCP servering and everything that made it really straightforward for me to do. Okay, so it turns out I don't have it. I have no idea. MK week. I, I thought I had all that late prime streams, best uh, best streams. Is it low code version controls? No. Uh, wouldn't gRPC be better than yeeting strings across VIP? Yes, I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build the gRPC into Lua such that I can I can do that. Especially Lua that can only handle strings. I'm going to have to create a new encoding mechanism to fit into ASCII strings. It's going to be beautiful. I provided the initial code for and helped develop a closed source creation. It was in development for 22-week sprints, and we ended up releasing 2.5 weeks early. Two-person team, too. Also, the project is going to develop and grow over time, but right now, all it does is eat, sleep, and shit. Okay? Nice job. Nice job. It does, it does take a long time to develop, but the, here's the deal, is that... Right now, maintenance is kind of mechanical, but man, as as your project grows, maintenance goes from mechanical to like an extremely, um, it's, it's very emotional. And honestly, you're going to have a lot of sprints left. And the hardest part about this project that you just took on is that there is no breaks. There's no weekends. There's no, there's no, there's no time off. You have sprints for the, for the next 18 years. Minimum. Minimum. What kind of dev methodology? None. All right. All right. So I guess I don't even have anything that I can use here to kind of draw from. You know, you th you'd think by now I would have been smarter, but it turns out I'm actually not smart. Okay. It turns out I keep deleting code and forgetting what I have created and blah, 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 blah. And that's that. Okay. It turns out I have yet to actually be a smart person. I keep thinking I am. I'm not. Server. Uh, let's see. Not chat new server. What kind of crap is that? TCP. Um, new TCP server. And what do you need? You need a port. Let's go with a uh, 42069. You know what? That's what we're going to do, okay? In fact, you know what we're going to do? We're actually going to go from um, test echo server. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm going to parse that mother french fry port. We're going to parse we're going to parse that french fry port right here. Right? Yeah, we're going to it's going to be so good. There we go. All right. So, we got this thing in. We're going to parse the port. We're going to create the server. Fantastic. If there's an error, we're going to go in here, and we're going to go log a fatal started server. Okay, kind of sucks. Up here. Yeah, I guess we can. We could probably just keep on using format. And just use that whole OS exit thing. All right, so there we go. So we got, we got our server, and now what we want to do is we actually want to... We want to send down a command. So let's go like this. Let's go like this. A uh, window. Uh, ooh, we can't call it that. W equals a uh, window. Oh, right, no, I call it view. Do I really have something called? Do I really have something called Windows? Oh no, that's not it. View. Okay, and so I'm gonna go like this. New window, 80 by 24. So if I've done this correctly, we now have that, and I should be able to go like this. Server. 
dot uh, uh, two sockets field method yeah spread yeah and what is this one this one takes a TCP command and so I should be able to go like this uh, oh it's called view open command W there we go so I should send out to the server now and then we're just gonna go like this I'm gonna just yeah yeah I know it will uh, time uh, sleep one second there we go it's just going to sit there and do nothing for now. Okay? W. Do we got some Ws? So if I've done this correctly, we're going to open a window from Go. Okay? We're going to open a window from Go. Are you ready to do this? There we go. We got the port. It's on 42069, so we're looking pretty good. And so now we're going to start a port. Which one are you going to start a port on? I think this one defaults to the default options, which is 42069. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to create a new command. We're going to hand it to this thing, and then we're going to we're going to go for it. Okay, you ready for this? Very excite, very excite, people. All right. I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little bit nervous because I, what what I'm nervous about is that. I'm going to create a new TCP command, and it's going to just send crap out right away, and I may not have any connections. You know what I mean? I feel like that's you know I feel like that's like a really big problem right now. Is I you know like I'm just sending out a command right away, but I got to wait for a connection to be had. You know what I mean? I kind of got to wait for a connection to be had. So how are we going to do this? How are we going to wait for a connection to be had? Is this game programming? Yeah, I mean this is just like the the networking side of things. You know what I mean? I use Vim. Good. I use Vim too. <sighs> do I have anything? Do I have anything that uh, allows me to listen to new to new sockets? Should I probably should I add something that allows for some new sockets? Huh? Huh? Should we have a little should we have a little new socket out thing? Because you kind of almost want something that every single time you get something. It, it you want to maybe do like a little like hey a little handout you know what I'm talking about I I could do that the other thing I could do is I could have I could also have some sort of thing up at the tippy top that every time a new connection is created I also just have like default welcome messages to send what do you guys think default welcome messages or send out the new TCP connection. New TCP connection channel. Oh, I, I've written, I've, I, I, I wrote Netflix's WebSocket connection protocol. Hey, thank you. Uh, uh, Lokian, appreciate that. Lokian, appreciate that. I see that I, I get genuinely, I genuinely get terrible answers from you guys. Why do I find Go syntax so unfriendly? I am shocked you do. What language do you normally use? Glow, Glow what language do you normally use? Why not UDP? How many times do I have to answer this question? UDP is unreliable, and I'm not building in reliability, okay? We're sending a couple messages down. Gosh darn it, I'm not building in reliability, okay? Because first off, it's not like it's real time. It's not like it's going to be RTMP where it's going to be sending a butt ton of messages where I can knack really easily and understand when I'm out of sync because it's not. there's no RTPing this one, okay? Because uh, betwixt two RTPs, maybe 10 seconds, and then now I got to, like, hold on to a window of messages that I potentially set to each socket. Yo, go F yourself, okay? We're not knacking. I'm going to let TCP do the whole business, okay? Gosh darn it. UDP is great, but it's just really effing hard. No UDP. Damn it. Damn it. Um, Twitch chat equals Bob Marley. YouTube chat equals Linkin Park. That somehow sounds sh like it's such a shitty way to describe yourself. Yo, dog, I wouldn't describe yourself as Linkin Park. Just throwing it out there. Okay, does that make sense? Like, I don't think, whoa, 15 minute break turned into 40. Gotta go later. Hey, see ya, Lawrence. I don't think, I don't think that's the cell you think it is. Okay. 
Chad's be using TC, UDP as TCP. I know that's called TCP on UDP, which is still very effing difficult. Like, security alone is effing difficult. You're killing someone that's already dead. Yeah, crawling. Uh, my... <laughs> All right, anyways. All right. You know what? F you guys. Honestly, what I'm going to do, I really don't think I like this idea. I really don't think I like this idea. I really don't think I like this idea. Damn it. I really don't. Um, like this. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, new TCPs is going to be a channel, uh, not TCP command. It's going to be a new channel. What the hell comes out of these connections? It's like a net something, right? It's like a, uh, it's like a net. Uh, is it a con? I think it's a con interface. I think that's what it is. I think that's what we're going to have. And where do we do a new one of these? And we're going to like this. Uh, new TCP net con, one of those bad boys. The problem is, is that I'm not really spreading this bad boy. See, see, the problem is I'm not spreading it. See, I don't have an effing spread. See, this is I hate building the spreading mechanics. Fan out is very annoying to build and go. I feel like I need the. I bet you with generics you can build a fan out channel type business, but I don't have a fan out channel business. Twitch chat is Tarantino. YouTube chat is Steven Seagal. That is interesting. Fan out like uh, one one thing goes in and it goes out to many channels. The, if you have two people listening to a channel, you you don't like they don't both receive messages. You know what I mean? Thank you, but I'm not in the tech industry. Sorry, uh, I'm here for the dick jokes. I get it. I get it. Uh, appreciate that, Isaiah. Yeah, I'm in the t we, we do a lot of that. Spread it, Daddy. I don't want to spread it. Damn it. Okay, so I guess right now. Oh, maybe what I should do is, for now, we should go like this. Welcomes, all right? And this is going to be a, uh, I'm just going to do this, right? TCP, uh, yeah, TCP command. I'm just going to do that one. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's just do that one. Let's just do that one. And then I, another thing I don't really know about, like, how to do um, go well is, do you do uh, T, okay, uh, can, can I... Okay, that's none of that is it. Uh, welcomes. Um, like, do we do these type of? Do, do I do this type of pro programming, or do I just put it out there? Is that like which one's more goy? The wrapper, almost Java like, or just put that crap right out? Goatsy. <sighs> Dear Lord. Wrapper. Will it do more than append? No. I actually do Java stuff type stuff because uh, Go modules are amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put that crap out. Yeah. All right. That's kind of how I feel. I don't know. All right. Anyways. All right, so there we go. We got the TCP stream. We got the TC welcome. We got the welcomes. And now whenever a new connection is had, right here, we got this connection. Listen, we're going to go like this. We gotta, we're going to go um, four command range welcome bytes. Bam, 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 bam. There you go. Very, very easy. Uh, er equals this. And there we go. Uh, is that what comes back out, right? It's actually going to be and Yeah, I'm just going to assume... That N is correct. I know that's probably not a good way to go about it right now, but I think that's probably pretty good. Continue, right? We're going to go like this, con.close. I'm just going to close it. The moment there's an error, yeah, 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 whatever. This is good enough. Uh, to do, think about uh, this a bit more. I worry. I worry about this. I don't like that, okay? Perfect. Okay, so there we go. We're going to send out all the welcome messages to whatever thing it is. So that means I'm just going to jump in here, create this bad boy. I'm going to go like this, server dot uh, w welcome, and I'm going to do a view open command with the new window right there. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Take that down. Put it right here because it really does not like that. All right, there we go. Do one of those, and we're going to bring that up to here, and we're going to delete that bad boy, and we're going to go W. Okay. There we go. Fantastic. So that's my only welcome message. By the way, thank you. Hazilo, I appreciate that. Show Bobs.
Oh, what is your terminal app? What do you mean my terminal app? I'm not even sure what that honestly means. This uh, this makes me almost want to learn Go, simply to have the ability to answer these questions during stream. No, thank you. Uh, you know, because I, I just don't know what the canonical way people like to approach Go is. So there we go. So we got all that bad boy down. Things are looking good. We now have that thing. We now have our welcome message. I have now, I'm going to shout this out. We are now listening. So if I like this, Lua start, it should connect and we should not have any, look that there's no open window commands at all. And oh my goodness, it actually worked. It actually opened an effing, com it just did it. But my focus is out here. Ugh. Quit. I I quit. Okay, I quit. I quit. Okay, so let's go to here. Wait, hold on. What do I have right here? Let's go like that. Yeah, I like that best. Okay, so we got this one. We parse. We with window it. Interesting. We with window. We create this. I thought create window also enters window. It opens command. No, it doesn't. Is there like some sort of? Is there some sort of like enter the window? Create window, do this. To, uh, well, how do I join the window? How do I do uh, NVIM set current window refocus? Mm, mm, function uh, m dot focus uh, details and go like this. Actually, I liked Copilot. Copilot, you did a good job. Clear if invalid. Yeah, there we go. Validate details. So details will say this one. There we go. So there's focus. Refocus, we want to use a clear if invalid. We don't want to validate. We don't want to throw stuff. You only want to validate at the tippy top. There we go. So that sounds good. So we're going to come back here and where are you? You're right here. And then go window dot um, focus details, right? I'm going to just focus those details. I'm kind of doing this thing where I'm, I'm kind of I'm building this little window thing. So it's like very, very simple activities i feel like he did this before with the window i did but i didn't put it in i didn't i i didn't put this in anywhere right i only have it i only have it on focus and refocus so anytime you lose anytime buffers entered it will i have an automatically make me refocus this window and then i also have one for resize um i thought i had one for resize yeah so on resize we also have this whole oh i don't have a I'm gonna have to think about this one. This one's slightly incorrect. Uh, this is slightly incorrect. You know what I mean? This is not right. This is not right. Um, slightly incorrect. All right. I don't want this. It needs to wrap. We need to wrap and listen to some commands and then clear if invalid and do stuff, right? And then the center of the dimensions again. You know what I mean? Should be pretty easy. Thank you, Tucci. I appreciate that. Thank you for the triple DKs or whatever it is. Celebrate their first live super stream on there. All right, so I think that's right. All right, so we're going to shout this out, and we're going to go like this. There we go. We're in. We're in. Look at that. I'm in the window. I'm in the window. All right, and that was provided to us by the server. Okay. Okay, we did it. We did it. We provided a new mechanism now into this little engine we're writing for real-time stuff that the server can say, hey, open a window for me. Okay, that's great. I like this. The server's opening the window for me. So that means... What Go does to a sane person. Is this true? What happened? Everyone okay? Everyone's okay. Um... Thank you. Too poor for a decent donation. No, that's fair. Hey, first off, Brodo. Thank you. Sorry for making fun of your Lincoln Park comment, okay? Second off, appreciate you. If you're too poor, don't give to the stream, okay? Kim Kardashian, Cam, appreciate that. Four months, let's go. Ooh, I like this song. Um, Brodo Baggins. You know the man's name is Brodo Baggins. Why not? Hey, Clueless Noob, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Clueless Noob. I wonder when YouTube developers are going to notice that these hearts are floating on top of the text. It's just horrible. Oh, I, they won't. Uh, why are you handsome again? Um, I'm not handsome. Okay. I do not have – I'm not good with my hands. 
Unless we're talking about being on a keyboard, boys. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know. All right. Anyways, so I like what I have right here. I do like what I have right here. I'm a little bit worried about this whole thing. I feel like there should almost be a, a cert. I almost need to go like this. A cert, um, uh, not self, window already open, right? This should just be a thing. Window should not be open. Let's go. Let's do that. So now we have this bad boy. But the, ne the next thing I kind of got to think about is what happens if someone closes the window, right? It worries me. Hey, thank you, Aussie Debugger. Thank you. Do you debug backwards? Does it go backwards through the code? Kind of like the toilets. Right? Yeah. All right. All right. So I like what we got here. I like the process. I like the commands. I like everything we have. I like this little app right here that we have developing because this is kind of like it, it, it makes a lot of the crap of just dealing with, you know what I mean? Dealing with this whole business a lot nicer. I'm very actually happy with where this is going because this is going to like fix so many of my real-time woes. So now we have to develop the last thing, which I think is going to be the hardest thing, honestly, which is going to be the partial render, right? So I have to I effectively I have to create a double buffer for the window and we'll have to, we have to like create, we have to change, compare, generate TCP commands update right yeah 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 pr pr stands for uh partial render a neovim can uh can run want a crisis no so there you go does that make sense that's what i like that's so that that, that that's going to be the last thing is going to be instead of render it's going to be an if command equals a partial a partial render and self dot window and self doc hash, then end, right? Now this is actually gonna be easier because if you look at this, if you look at rendering right now, I actually take this from string method and I walk with Lua, by the way, Lua's one based indexing, this gave me so much effing heartaches, holy cow. Oh my goodness, I hated it. But this walks an entire string and converts a string or a, a the TCP packet into the window itself. Whereas the next one, I'm not gonna have to do that. A partial render is gonna be super simple. It's just going to walk to each thing and just like update that character one at a time in that slot. And so it's, it's very happy about that. Uh, Zosin, 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 he fixed Lua? Yeah, I know, he, I heard he did. Next project, running Doom in, in Neovim. It's technically possible if we can send everything down. I'm a third year computer science student from Kalispell, Montana. Hell yeah, I love Kalispell. And just to, well, thank you. Appreciate that. And just discovered you the other day, and it's crazy uh, cool to see someone else from Montana who took a similar choice and career path and was able to make it so far. I love all the YouTube videos I've seen so far and have uh, found them super helpful. Uh, keep up the good shit, man. Hey, first off, Cal Spell is very pretty. Right? Let's go, Montana devs. Let's go, Montana devs. I like Cal Spell. You have a really great piece of pizza joint downtown. Actually, uh, I actually think one indexing makes more sense. Uh, sucks. We're all used to zero indexing. I just don't think it does. I really just don't think one indexing makes sense. It makes you add minus ones in weird locations, right? Like no matter how, like it just makes you add minus ones right in these weird ends, right? Because you, you don't, because everything becomes inclusive. And so it's like, I don't want to include everything. I want to include up until the thing. And so then everything is always like this. You, the inclusivity of it all makes it really frustrating. All right, one indexing uh, is only okay in Excel, is it? Uh, you'll need to fight Tej then. Boxing match? I don't know who would win in a boxing match. I got six inches on TJ, and I believe I'm in better. Who do you think would? Uh, I think I, I think I'm more in shape than TJ. Who do you think would win in a typing speed contest? You or Pirate Software? I don't know how fast he types. I bet I could use Vim faster than him, but I bet he could use uh, Notepad plus plus better than me. All right. Um. All right, so I like this. I don't know how I feel about this idea of calling it view. Should we just call it window? Should I call it window, right? I kind of feel like I want to keep the, the, the naming convention the same. You know what I mean? It, like, bothers me that we have... Um, all 
right? It bothers me, right? Does that bother me? It does bother me. Agamayor, call it Vindo. Ooh, I like it. Uh, thank you, uh, Aconda. Somebody give me a quick summary of the project and where I can find it. It's it's in the it's in like twenty five hours of YouTube videos on the Vimogen. Um, building a real time, kind of a real time a real time process in Go and Vim. Okay. Okay. First off, this is not terribly inaccurate. Second off, Mike Tyson is fifty dog. Or 56. Will, will you have to refactor every method? Like window, new window is uh, not a good thing. Well, yeah, I, I do agree. I'm on your team. Oh, okay. I like where I'm going. So partial windows is going to be the next thing. Uh, feature uh, opening uh, windows, uh, opening window from server, right? I still don't have like a lot of safety things like right like there's like a whole bunch of safety things that need to be included in this like if you close down a window should I just open up a new one really quickly should I should I force like force live on a window because the nice part that's one of the reasons why I've kind of chosen to do this whole uh, business over here you're probably wondering like why uh, whoopsies why have a window in it right why have a bunch of wrapping operations well the general idea is that I have this right here and so I could have something where it's like uh, I could listen to buff close or wind close right uh, it's it's wind close right yeah wind closed and so if wind closed happens to be the same window as mine I could force reopen and hold on to a reference to details right to this details object and then that means when it closes i can actually just straight up update underneath it the to a new win to a new win id which i think is going to be really good i think that that's going to cause a really nice kind of feel so that way i can really just we can keep the system going like you have to quit intentionally right i like it I like it. Memory leaky? It's not memory leaky. There's nothing leaky about that. That's like literally the, uh, that's like the definition of not a memory leak, dog. That's using a closure in an event to recreate a window. Did you stop working on Vim APM? No, I'm working on Vim APM right now. This is the basis for Vim APM. Right? This is the, this is the Vim, this is the basis for Vim APM. Okay, cool. I like it. Right. So, what is Vim APM? It is a project to calculate all of your APMs. I already have all. I already have it effectively all done. I just need to. I have most of the server done. I have the client effectively done. So now all I have to do is just be shooting stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's not calling a Go routine. Yeah, GoLang is generally um, memory safe. I'm not even doing anything in go routines uh, i've been trying to get vim uh i've been trying to get into vim by learning vim motions what are the main ones you should learn first i, ha I have like a whole ordering video but effectively it's pretty easy just do all the basic motions you know h j k l k l uh w b d y p u for undo i and a and you're good to go and then once you get angry you start getting faster is m80 on vim apm good uh potentially yeah you are streaming more than I'm coding as of late. Yeah, I do. I, I've been. I it's still not uh, that much, but multiple times a day is impressive. Thank you. I do. I do enjoy it. I don't know if M80 is good or not. It could be very good. That sounds good to me. Uh, let's see. To start a server without garbage collection, ruining your buffer, dude. I have no idea what the hell you're talking about, my friend. I'm I'm on vacation for my job right now. A little dip, a little dap, always good. I agree. Anyways, so I like where this is. I like where this is. I like where this is going. So that means the last things that I need to do at this point. You are cool, I think. The last things I need to do is get these partial renders up. 
And I think at that point, I could take it out for a spin. Should we take it out for a spin after that and try to build like a basic tower defense game? Yeah? I think so, because I think I've built enough of the uh, platform now. And then I, I, I just have to, now I got to go try it and see, do I like it? Right? Oh, so those truck drivers that play Euro Truck Simulators are on their, uh, are their downtime? Wait, what? Anyways, just something I'm thinking of. So I like that. I'm going to do that. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Involuntary leave of absence? No. I am taking a literal three-week vacation, uh, predominantly to get my course ready for uh, boot.dev and front-end masters, and then number two, to go to front-end masters and do that, and then number three, to enjoy a few days, my second vacation ever with my extremely beautiful and attractive wife. Okay, we've been married. We've been together for 15 years, and we've taken one vacation together. Okay? So, suck it. Huge. Yeah, I know. So, F all of you for saying stupid stuff. That's what you guys get. Hey, Doug Doug's on. All right, people, I got to go, but Doug Doug's awesome. So we're, we're in a good place. We're in a good place, and I like it. Phew, fortunately, I didn't say anything. Yeah, fifth. That's what I said, Doug Doug. Yeah. It should assassinate. Kill those motherfuckers. Do it, Dougie. That's a mistake. First off, you should ban Nightbot, okay? Okay, I would definitely kill that man. I will kill I will I will kill Nightbot, okay? I kill that kill that mother French fry, okay? Very excited about this. Yeah. 